hello, welcome, wherever you are joining us around the world for today's monumental press conference. We are now just hours away from finding out who the baddest man on the planet is. On Saturday night, to begin this year's iconic Riyadh season in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, two kings collide right here. The heavyweight king of boxing, Tyson Fury, takes on the heavyweight king of MMA, the one and only Francis Ngannou. We would like to extend a special thank you to His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, and His Excellency, Chairman of the General Entertainment Authority of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Turkey Al Al Sheikh. This great event is brought to you by Sella, Frank Warren on behalf of Queensbury, Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated and Gimmick Fight Promotions. The event will be televised in the UK on TNT Sports Box Office, in the US and Canada via Top Rank on ESPN Plus, and around the world in other territories on The Zone. We will of course hear from the main event fighters and the chief support very, very shortly, but we're going to begin with some of the mouth-watering fights that are lined up on this undercard. Let's start with a super welterweight contest between a fighter who has crossed over from MMA quite successfully, taking on the son of a boxing legend, now starting to make his own name. Uh, I'm going to start with you, Robert Duran Jr. Uh, Robert, uh, a great occasion. Your father was no stranger to the bright lights, big nights like this, and I guess you're here to show that you can carry on that name. Most definitely, you know, um, when I started my career, you know, everybody told me that it was gonna be big pressure on my shoulders. At first it was, but then as I started, you know, leveling up in my career, you know, I, I figured out that my dad already did his career, so now it's time to do mine, so it alleviated a bit of pressure off me. You've been very cool, very calm, very composed all week, despite all these lights. Do you feel like you were born to fight? Most definitely. And tell me about this fight with Jack McGann, who you're taking on on Saturday night. How's it going to go, and what do you think of him? I mean, you know, I'm a fighter. I'm a warrior. You know, I train for, for times like this. You know, Saturday night is going to be the time where one of us is going to come out victorious. You know, so I'm well prepared for it. So by the time our fight is over, my hand is raised at the end of the night. All right, well, let's bring in Jack McGann. Jack, I guess... You're, you're a bit of a, a tester here for us. You are a man who has done very well in the MMA world in striking. You've knocked a lot of people out. Has that power translated to boxing? And if so, how have you done it? Yeah, 100%. I, I've shown that in my last couple of fights especially. Um, the, the change in the gloves hasn't gotten the way at all. Um, and I think that I've, I've really transitioned well over and, and the power's carried across, yeah. I actually remember when you turned pro, you said that you were going to be the proof that MMA strikers can hang with boxers. Do you think you're proving that? Yeah, I think I, I think I proved that a while ago. I, I knew that before I actually had my professional debut because I, I used to spar with a lot of top um, professional boxers in just boxing, so I knew I could do it. But I've definitely proved that now, I, I, especially being on this big stage. I've got a title, a man, mandatory for the British, so it's, it's all going the right way. But if I am... Um, if I couldn't box, I'm, I must be the luckiest man on, on, on the planet. What about this guy that you're fighting on Saturday? He's got a, a great name. He's coming with plenty of ambition as well. How do you see this one going, Jack? I think that, like everyone else on the card, with how big this is and, and, and um, the size of the event, you're going to get the best version of everybody on the night. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to a tough sort of fight with, 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 with the legend's son, and it's going to be magic. One final one for you, Jack, before we move on. Because of your unique position in this event, being a former MMA striker, how much chance are you giving Francis Ngannou in the main event against Tyson Fury? Well, first of all, I'd say it's Tyson Fury. You pick any heavyweight on the planet, and, and people have probably picked Tyson over, over, over the other side. But I think that it's definitely going to be a, a better fight than, than most people are predicting. And I, um, I give Ngannou a, a, a decent chance, yeah. Thank you very much, Jack McGann. Thank you, Robert, as well. Let's move on to a young man just 18 years old, deemed by many to be a future, future star of the heavyweight division, Moses Itauma. Moses, a, a great stage for you to show us what you're all about on Saturday night. You must be very excited. Yeah, 100%. Obviously, it's a, it's a big platform to showcase my skills, but 
like I said time and time again, it means nothing if I don't perform. So it's so all what matters under the bright lights. You've done an awful lot as an amateur. There's going to be a lot of new eyeballs on you on Saturday. Give us a little, uh, a little rundown of what you've done and what you intend to do as a professional. Uh, obviously, as an amateur, I won two national titles, three European medals, uh, gold medals, and a world title. And as an as a professional, I'm looking to replicate that and doing it quicker than the youngest heavyweight world champion himself, Mike Tyson. I see him sitting at the front. He's he's staring at me. But um, listen, pressure makes diamonds, man. Pressure makes diamonds. Well, Mike Tyson just called out, "I love you." you. Uh, how does that feel, Moses? Say that again, sir. Mike Tyson just called out, I love you, man. How does that feel? I love you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Look, Moses, we're, you know, Mike Tyson's here. It's absolutely amazing. Tell me what sort of performance we can expect from you on Saturday night. Listen, I'm not going to go in there and look for the KO, but obviously I'm going to go in there, try my best, and hopefully the KO comes. Listen, at the end of the day, no one can predict the future, but if I go in there and do 100%, I'll come and victorious. Thank you so much, Moses Itama. Best of luck to you, young man. Let's now move on to a fight between uh, the unbeaten Arsenal back Mahmoudov taking, ju taking on Junior Anthony Wright on Saturday night. Now, <coughs> Anthony Wright, Junior Anthony Wright is to my left, uh, and I'll bring you in here. Big opportunity. I guess you weren't expecting to get the call for a fight like this. You're, you're a kind of late replacement-ish opponent, but when you got that call, I guess you had to say yes straight away, huh? Yeah, I mean, basically I had to because um, it was a situation where um, I'm in the gym all the time. I mean, I work out like I got nothing else to do, so I took advantage of the situation, and here I am. Your opponent is a, a big, big hitter. You've had a chance to have a look at him this week. He sat over here, Arsenal back, Mahmoudov. Uh, what do you make of him? Well, for one, I mean, every time I look at him, my neck starts hurting because he's so damn tall. <laughs> I mean, he's so tall, but... um. It's definitely gonna be a good fight because I'm a, I'm a puncher as well as he is, so um, it's it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be one of the best ones in my opinion. How are you gonna go about beating this man? <laughs> it's, it's interesting. Um, I just got I gotta keep coming. I gotta, gotta I gotta press the action. I mean that's all I can do because he's pretty long. So I'm gonna do what I gotta do. All right, let's bring in Arslan back, Mahmoudov. Uh, you are a heavyweight who has got a growing reputation right now. You've got a great record, 16 knockouts from your 17 wins. Is this a chance to make a big statement on a big stage for you on Saturday? Yes, uh, this guy with good uh, defense, you know, good uh, fast guy, you know, and uh, not tall like uh, all this my before opponent. But that's why it's going to be a good change for me. And uh, of course, it's fight in a kind of this event is uh, already a big step you know for a, a big fight yeah. you are becoming known for your power are you planning a big knockout on saturday night uh, listen uh, you ne never can say i do knockout you got, should just do i should just do my uh, job best you know and uh, everything coming up i just i have to do my uh, should do show good my performance and uh, everything coming up, yes. So many heavyweights on this card, Arslan back. Obviously, you've got your eyes on Junior Anthony Wright, who you're fighting. Are you looking around at any of these other guys and kind of sizing them up? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. It's now, all my focus about my opponent uh, for Saturday. After, we'll see. Yes, yes. After, yes. Uh, it's an interesting uh, phase I see here. <laughs> yes. I like to fight, yeah, of course, with the top guys. Yeah. All right, thank you very much, Arslan Beck. We're looking forward to your fight. Tyson, salam alaikum, Mike. <laughs> you also, not just this guy, uh, an example. For me, also, was an example all of my life. Thank you, guys. Salam alaikum. Absolutely fantastic having Mike Tyson close by. The, an inspiration to so many at this top table, probably everyone. Uh, let's keep it moving to a fight between a former world heavyweight champion who wants to be a world heavyweight champion again and a man who has his own sights on becoming champion. Joseph Parker takes on Simon Keane. And let's, let's bring in Simon Keane here. Uh, Simon, we spoke earlier this week and you told me you're not hungry, you're starving. You really want this, don't you? Yeah, that's right. Tell me more. I know it's a big challenge for me. 
Um, <clears throat> this week, uh, Joseph said, you want to knock me out? So my answer is, of course you want to knock me out. And I want to knock him out too. So that's boxing. Uh, <clears throat> I know I had a, I got a big challenge. Want to thank uh, everyone to help me. My my coaches, my doctor, Max is the best. My my team, I have Tiger, my sponsor, and I want to thank uh, Joseph Parker too for the opportunity. Thank you. Uh, I know I'm gonna have a, a big challenge com coming up for me, and I need a really great performance for get the win. But I had a really great training camp, and I'm ready to shock the world. What do you think of Joseph Parker here? He has been to the top of the heavyweight mountain. He's been a former world heavyweight champion. What do you make of him? Can, could you repeat, please? What do you think of this guy? Oh, oh, oh! I saw, I saw, I saw him boxing if, when he fought when he lost against uh, Joshua, and I watched him a lot uh, when I was uh, in 2016 when he was world, when he was a world champion, and uh, I know he's a great fighter. Uh, he got a Lots of skills, and uh, he got he got power, he got everything, and a great boxer. So how do you beat him? What? How are you going to beat Joseph Parker? <laughs> I'm not gonna show my game plan live uh, at the TV. <laughs> All right, let's bring in Joseph Parker here. Very uh, respectful from Simon Keane, not giving an awful lot away. Big fight for you. You're on Tyson Fury's undercard as well. Tell us how you're feeling heading into Saturday night, Joseph. Viv, firstly, just want to say it's fantastic to be here in Saudi Arabia. Just want to say thank you to His Excellency Tokyo Al Sheikh, Spencer Brown for all his help, uh, Queensbury Promotions and Top Rank, and finally the big man um, Tyson Fury for the for all the help and the, and the great training camp that we've had. And I got my main man here, Andy Lee family and friends from New Zealand. And listen, if it was, if I was fighting Tyson, I don't think there's anything more that we could have done in camp. We have trained a house down for, for Simon Keane. And we respect him as a fighter. We, we know that he's got a lot of knockouts and he's got big power. So we have done absolutely everything in our power to be as prepared as we can be for this challenge. And how are you planning on taking on Simon Keane? He's not giving an awful lot away. He gave us nothing. Can you give us any indication, Joseph? I'm just going to follow the plan that Andy says, and I'm going to go in there and punch his face. And that's it. Any response, Simon? No, I'm sorry. No, I don't have an answer. Okay. Very, very serious, Simon Keane. Um, Joseph, let me just ask you this. For, for the main event, uh, Tyson Fury is back. He's taken on Francis and Ghana. You've been in camp with him. How's he looking? Listen, Tyson Fury is on fire. He always turns up for fight week. And everyone knows, everyone's seen him in the gym and he's had some great rounds of sparring. He's done great work with George Lockhart, Sugar Hill, and myself with George as well. So we've had, there's nothing more we can do. We're, we're ready for Saturday night and putting on a great show and a great display of boxing. Uh, and on yourself, Joseph, you told me in the week, every time you predict a knockout, you end up winning on points. So are you predicting a, a points victory on Saturday? I'm just going to go in there and smash this guy. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. That's why... Listen, we sign up to this fight and I'm going to go there and smash him and he's going to do the same and whoever executes their plan is going to win. All right, thank you very much, Joseph Parker. Thank you, Simon Keane. And thank you all. This, is, this concludes part one of three press conferences here today. And of course, we have Carlos Takam and, and Martin Bacoli, who we must now come to. Thank you, Joseph Parker, for reminding me. Martin uh, Bacoli, let's start with you. Oh, okay. You look like... You've been really, really enjoying yourself this week. You were dancing, you were jumping over the rope. You're enjoying your time in Riyadh. Yeah, uh, first, uh, I want to say first thank you to Carlos Takam for giving me this big opportunity. He's got more experience, uh, much respect. He's older than me. We respect uh, all those in Africa. And I want to thank my team. I want to thank Spence and Excellency Turk for this big opportunity and big show like this. Like I say, I have much respect for Carlos Takam, so I love him so much, but looking forward to see what he's going to bring on Saturday night. You, you obviously, you have much respect for him. He, you know, he's, he's one of the kind of modern heavyweights who's been around a while, but you've also said 
that you you plan on giving him the beating of his life. Uh, tell us more about that. Yeah, everyone knows Martin Bakoli. I've got speed, I've got everything, power. Like I said, you know, he done well in the career, but Saturday night, uh, uh, say punishment is too hard because uh, he's a big brother. I say I just, you know, go to box him. Stop, knock out my point, I'm going to win the fight. Well, let's bring in Carlos Takam here. Carlos, you've heard Martin Bacoli. Uh, you are a heavyweight that has been around a little while now. Tell us a little bit about how hungry you are to get to the top of the mountain and what you think of Martin Bacoli. Yes, you know, um, like I told you yesterday, I'm the one who asked that fight with uh, my Martin Bacoli. So because you told me nobody want to fight Martin, I say, oh, I asked about that fight, so I'm not scared about Martin. So, like he said, we're going to see what's going to happen this weekend. I'm ready for him, and brother, let's play together. Of course, I'm ready, big brother. And I can't forget to pay my respect to one of the best, Michael Tazan. I'm so happy to see you, big brother. Carlos, what is it that you think you do better than Martin Bacoli? Say again? What do you do better? And Martin Bacoli? You know, Martin Bacoli is a young boxer, a strong guy. So I know him and I know his power. So I'm going to come with my experience. So I know what I'm going to do this weekend. So to win that fight, I'm confident. I'm really confident for that fight. What type of fight do you think it will be? Is this a fire fight? Yes, it will be tough. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're going to dance together, brother. We're going yeah, to dance together. But you mentioned I've got power. But, you know, power can stop anything. Just be ready. Box, power, you know, war. I'm ready for anything. No, don't forget, this is my time, big brother. This is Martin Buck all the time, so I won't play in the ring Saturday night. So I will be focused. You know, I know you got more experience, but you know, I have training hard with all top guys there. I learn a lot and I push myself, I kill myself in the gym, so I'm ready for Saturday. Before we let you guys go, now, Martin, you've been sparring Tyson Fury. Of course. Carlos, yeah. you've been in camp with Francis and Garnu. Yes. How's this fight going to go? Give us your view, Carlos. <laughs> like I said, I know people always say, yes, Tyson Fury going to win that fight. It's okay. It's correct. But um, I think I'm confident my brother going to win. Francis and Garnu going to win. Because I never see him, I never see Francis train like that, you know. That was the first time I see him train like that. He was really serious in, the, in his training. And I'm confident, I'm, I know he's going to win the fight. How are you going to see? Martin? I always said it, you know, um, Ganu is a good, a tough guy. He done well in MMA, but it make, it make me speak mistake of jumping in the boxing and once, you know, pick up gypsy king. Uh, I think he will try to do his best, and I won't be surprised if he, he stop Tyson, but it's too hard. Uh, I think maybe Tyson he will stop him before six, seven rounds. That is my opinion. Much respect to Ngannou for what he did in MMA. All right, thank you very much. Thank you to everyone. Just double-checking, I haven't forgotten anyone. Again, thank you, everyone, uh, for your words up here. That concludes the first part of today's three-part press conference. We will be back very, very shortly with the chief support press conference between David Adelaide and Fabio Wardley. Stick with us.
with the full moon, roll button and zip top. It's all kicking off soon. Best stay well equipped, bruv. I don't know about your goons. Round there, everything lift up. Whether it's draw, win or lose, none of my friend them give up. Let's do it. Ain't come here to talk it out, let's get into it. Froze up now, he froze to death, he should've blew it. Told you you can't f with us, he should've knew it. Yeah. We gon' do the most, yeah. Foot all on they throat, yeah. Oh, you wanted to ghost the best. Made it out alive, I'm blessed. Leave one other guy now. We was taught to die together. Get put down wherever. We gon' ride forever, ride forever. Daddy, daddy. We came to start it, bring the paper for the special wrap them up like origami, yo. Lottie daddy, we came to start it. It's pepper if they ever want a problem in this party, yo. Ronaldo, what do you think about France's chances against Fury? Next question. Yo. Yo. Tap him, that should wig off. Wrist shining, I get blinded when I steer the car. I ain't got a pole to show it grinding, cause we really are. Yeah. So the waiter, fuck a bottle, I'ma clear the bar. Pagans got me laughing in stitches like a fair scar. You gotta be cruel to be kind, look closely. Big bros, a survivor. a survivor. And I was scoping that, just got the groceries. Now I'm hosting, but. <laughs> she wanna step a league, grow us. Gave her the whole cappuccino. Yeah, I put my jumper and jeans on and splurted. And they were both Valentino. Yeah, I got a chocolate Ferrero Rocher. I think her husband's a weirdo. Yeah, I got a comfy a chair though. Brains, I'm on the hunt, I'm the scarecrow. I gotta stay with my regiment, danger. I gotta raise my development. Yeah, I gotta change up my level, it's major. I gave my tailor my measurement. Yeah, and H painted picture, I'm a painter. They hate when I'm stepping in. Stepping in. Yeah, I freshen up like I'm peppermint. I'm peppermint. Please, you shouldn't touch, I'm a specimen. <sighs> yeah, that's in my cup with a cranberry sandman. I'm waking up with a sandy. Yeah, came in the club with a Monica. Yeah, I'm trying to cut with a brandy. Yeah, I saw a score for her Insta goals. I told her that's what we can be. Yeah, I even drip when I'm trampy. Yeah, they had a hit, then she zammed me. Yeah, step with a damsel. Damsel. Straight. Chicks wanna bang me. Yeah. I'm in the woods with a action. Get hit with a Bambi. Yeah. I got a sip in Malibu, hard food. I'm on the beach with the Callaloo. Yeah. We used to hide from the cameras, movies. You saw your guys on Fifth Avenue. I saw this guy talking so much before your guys had to carry you. Yeah. I bet you can't take a step at me before we sh in a step in you. Click, then I banged it. Bang it. Yeah, I stand up, she understand it. Yeah. Brain scrambled, crap, then I scramble it. Scramble and that's a card on you, it's like I'm Gambit. <laughs> Kick 
Can I kick it? Yes, you can. Well, I'm gone. Go can I kick it? To all the people who can quest like a tribe does. Before this, did you really know what I was? Comprehend to the track force. Why? Cause getting mentions on the tip of the vibe buzz. Rock and roll to the beat of the funk fuzz. Wipe your feet really good on the rhythm rug. If you feel the urge to freak, do the jitterbug. Come and spread your arms if you really need a hug. Afrocentric living gives a big shrug. I like filled with that's what I love. I love what plateau is what we're above. If it diss us, we won't even think of. We'll nip of the dog and give a big shove. This rhythm really fits like a snug glove. Like a box of positives, it's a plus love. As the trial flies high Can like I a dove. Can I kick it? Yes, you can. Can I kick it? To the folk, Snoop Doggy Dogg and Dr. Dre is at the dope, ready to make an entrance, so back on up. Before I have to pull the strap off the cut, give me the microphone first so I can bust like a bubble. Compton and Lone Beach together, now you know you in trouble, cause ain't nothing but a cheap thing. Baby, too low down G, so we crazy. Death Row is the label that pays, man. Unfatable, so please don't try to fake this. But uh, back to the lecture at hand. Perfection is perfected, so I'm gonna let them understand. From a young G's perspective And before me they got a trick I have to find a contraceptive You never know she could be earning her man And learning her man And at the same time burning her man Now if she burning I'ma chill for a minute Cause ain't no loving good enough to get burned while I'm offended yeah. And that's realer than real deal Holy feel And now you hookers and hoes know how I feel Well if it's good enough to get more off a proper chunk I take a small piece of some of that funky stuff It's like this and like that and like this and uh It's like that and like this and like that and uh It's like this and like that and like this, and, uh, it's like this like that and like this and a drink creep to the mic like a fan well i'm peeping and i'm creeping and i'm creeping but i damn they got kept because my people kept beeping now it's time for me to make my impression felt so sit back relax and strap on the seat touch you've never been on a ride like this before what a producer who can rap and control the maestro at the same time with the dope rhyme that i get you know and i know i feel some more funky shit to add to my collection this selection symbolizes don't take a toe but don't show if you do It's like this and like that and like this and uh, it's like that and like this and like that and uh, it's like this and we ain't got no love for those. So just chill till the next episode. Gangsta lane, getting funky on the mic like an old batch of collard greens. It's the capital S O S oppression, double O P, D O double G Y D O double G. You see, showing much flex when it's time to wreck a mic, pimping hoes and clacking a grip like my name was Dolomite. Yeah, and it don't quit. I think they in the mood for another one of those G hits. So Trey, what up, y'all? We gotta give them what they want. What's that, G? We gotta break them off something. Hell yeah. And it's gotta be bumping, city of Compton. This is where it takes place, so a match of attention. Mobbing with the dog crown. Oh, wow, wow. Dropping the focus tracks is making a separate guess.
Will you tell me to sit down and now we're waiting? What's happening now? Oh. Hey, can you tell the guy who's trying to cue me? Oh, mami, voy pa' dentro, fue cool pelo Ey, pa' que te veas rápido No necesito lelo En todos mis videos te pusieron de modelo Mmm, dame booty, dame cara, dame pelo Wow, ella no es puta, ella es mujer Alegre, fina, pero le gusta La calle PR, diva Se tira hombre y también mujer Es mía, cuando me pide que la grabe Pues dale, me gustan las pichas y las yales Kinky, salvaje, tímida Pero no cuando me pide que baje Vamos a poner la rima y te quité lo de Timmy. Me dejo el número, el teléfono en el Dr. Simi. Yo voy a ser tu baby mother como yo en Chimi. Este es West Picochita, está rico mini. I know you wanna see me. Eso no es nada, déjate ver, te vas a hacer. Sí, si la más, son la más fina. 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 Diga lo que diga, vamos a gozarnos la vida. Están las sucierías, baby, how about you? Tengo el feita ubicado, son como cayú. Besitos en el cuello, besitos en el... No sé qué tú me hiciste, mami, que me tienes loco. Dale, vamos pa' la Gucci pa' hacerlo en el probador. Despertita y a la vez. Pito en la mañana, le digo el despertador. Todo el mundo... Rock and roll, baby. Rock and roll. Yeah. All right. Thanks, mate. Bye. We're ready, boys? Facing me is like facing David out of the Bible. You know you're f He likes to go in and whoop some Bang. I train my bollocks off for everybody. Whether he's a window cleaner or he's a world heavyweight king. They both get the same treatment. And that's total domination by me. This is a fight. Francis Ngannou is coming early to take his head off. Who is the baddest man on the planet? All eyeballs all around the world. And when you watch him, Riyadh. The leading warriors. All eyes on us, like Tupac said. All eyes on me. 
This man has transcended his sport. The pinnacle of boxing. Saudi boxing, get ready for a takeover. Duke King style. All of a sudden, bang. This won't be happening without His Excellency Turkey. It is the event. Facing the Gypsy King, no matter who you are, you can't win. I never leave any stones unturned. That's why I've been undefeated in 15 fucking years.
Ladies and gentlemen, our chief support fight this Saturday is scheduled for 12 rounds, and it'll be for the British, WBO European, WBA Continental, and vacant Commonwealth Heavyweight Championships. We will first welcome, coming to us from London, England, he brings an undefeated record with 12 wins. 11 of his 12 wins come by way of knockout. He is the reigning and defending WBO European heavyweight champion, Big D, David Adelaide. And now we welcome, coming to us from Ipwich, England, undefeated with 16 wins, 15 of his 16 wins come by way of knockout. He is the reigning British and WBA Continental Heavyweight Champion, Fabio Wardley. Well, hello, hello. Welcome back to today's final press conference ahead of an iconic event this Saturday night right here in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. To begin this year's Riyadh season, two kings collide in the kingdom. As we already know, the king of heavyweight boxing, Tyson Fury, takes on the king of heavyweight MMA, the one and only Francis Ngannou. As you can see from this table, we have a mouth-watering chief support bout Two unbeaten British Lions duke it out in the desert. Four titles will be on the line. The coveted Lord Lonsdale British Heavyweight Championship, the vacant Commonwealth Heavyweight Championship, the WBA Continental and the WBO European titles will all be on the line. I'm hearing the British title is now in the country and under the watchful eye of one of the stewards, you will be seeing that title here this week. It's Fabio Wardley, it's David Adelaide. We can't wait for this one. We would like to extend a special thank you to His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, and His Excellency, Chairman of the General Entertainment Authority of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Turkey Al Al Sheikh. This great event is being brought to you by Seller, Frank Warren on behalf of Queensbury Promotions, Bob Aaron's Top Rank Incorporated and Gimmick Fight Promotions. The event will be televised in the UK on TNT Sports Box Office, in the US and Canada on ESPN Plus Pay-Per-View, and around the world in other territories on DAZN. We will, of course, hear from Tyson Fury and Francis Ngannou very shortly, but now let's talk about these guys here, these two heavyweight giants colliding in the desert on Saturday. Frank Warren, delighted as ever to be joined by yourself. Um, what an incredible event this has turned out to be, and what a stage for these two unbeaten British heavyweights to take to and make a name for themselves. Listen, this is mind-blowing. Um, Bob, between Bob and I, I think we're 100 and nearly 110 years worth of promoting between us. And um, this has blown me away completely, and Bob and I had the conversation last night, and he said the same thing. I've never seen such brilliant promotion I've never seen something so well organized. You know, the venue was built in 90 days. Here we are. Well, I mean, what a testament to, the, to the, the people behind this. His Excellency, Turkey El Sheikh, him and his team have just been phenomenal. What they've achieved here is, is something to be respected, and I think it will go down in history as far as we're concerned for events and, and certainly for venues. This is, I think, the fourth Riyadh season now we're in, and who would ever thought that we'd have a British and Commonwealth title fight here in Saudi Arabia? It's just magnificent. It's yet again another first, and what a fight it is. A 
two guys both undefeated between them, 28, fi 28 fights, 28 wins, both punchers. This is a, a cracking fight. There's been a little neat bit of needle, as we say, um, prior to the fight. But look, that's all been sorted out now, and you're going to see the real fight in the ring. These guys both want it. I mean, I've spoken separately both to them, you know, both to David and to Fabio, and I can't tell you how much they know this is such an this is such an opportunity for them. It's a massive stage. This fight's going around the world. It's on the undercard of the Battle of the Baddest. It's the main undercard fight. And for the winner, he's going to be seen by a huge audience, a massive audience around the world. It's his chance to sparkle and get himself into the real, real big time. And who knows, maybe in you know, the fifth or the sixth Riyadh season, he'll be topping the bill here. But this is a great, as I say, opportunity and one that they're going to both give everything they got for. Thank you very much, Frank. Uh, feel free to, to in interject throughout. Let's bring in David Adelaide. I'll come to you first, David. Um, great to see you wear, wear, wearing what you're wearing tonight. Absolutely fantastic effort. Um, yeah, let's get a round of applause for David Adelaide. Fantastic stuff. Um, huge opportunity for you, and I guess on Saturday night, the name David Adelaide could mean an awful lot in the heavyweight division if you walk away with four titles. Tell us what you're thinking. Yeah, you know, um, it's a big event on the weekend. You know, um, I'm grateful to be a part of it. Um, on Saturday night, I get to win four belts. You know, so, uh, you know, I'm just soaking up the atmosphere. You know, I've never been in a fight this big before. And, um, you know, I'd like to say thank you to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for even having us. And, um, and His Excellency, you know, um, it's an honour. Yeah, I'm just taking it all in. And Fabio Wardley, let's bring you in here as well. You're very welcome. Uh, as always, a tremendous stage for you to defend your British title, your WBA Continental, and in your eyes, pick up another couple of belts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've got two at the moment, looking to leave here with four. So it's um, yeah, it's a it's a special day, a special stage. Sorry for a special night. I think there's a lot. There's a lot on the card to look forward to, the main event, obviously, but I think the fight with me and David has um, captured a lot of eyes and a lot of people are very interested and I'm looking forward to having a, a big night. David, let me ask you this. At the, uh, at the last press conference and in the build-up to this, Fabio Wardley has said that when it comes to the bright lights, when it comes to the spectacle, you get a bit nervous. You get a bit jittery. I'm seeing a lot of bright lights. Are you nervous, David? Do I look it? Nope. Does All right. Nervous? I'm not nervous. You know, uh, it's nothing new. I've envisioned it many, many times before. And um, I look good under the lights, so I just soak it up. Fabio, let me ask you this. Look, the first time you were meant to have a press conference, it never happened. Um, and you're a guy that always keeps his cool. But that night, I guess, you know, we didn't see that side of Fabio. You had to get a little bit angry in there. Tell us how you reflect on that press conference where the scenes got a little bit ugly. Did he make you lose your call, Fabio Wardley? I wouldn't say it made me, made me lose my call. I think I, just, I think I just had to look at the situation for what it was and, and let people know that it's not, that's not the way to behave, that's not the way to carry yourself in a professional setting, um, especially not in an event like that where it's supposed to be such a, such a big occasion, such a big event to announce what was a massive fight between obviously the main event and us as well. And then what turned out to obviously be this and a, a huge event. So there's certain ways to go about doing certain things. So I just had to let a few people know that that's not how you conduct yourself. Fabio, let me ask you this. David Adelaide has said that he is faster, smarter, hits harder, more athletic, moves around the ring better, uh, and has a better chin than you. Uh, do you agree with all of that? I don't agree with any of them. It's, it's, it's easy to say that and it's easy to look good like that when you're in the ring with a bunch of, a bunch of punch bags who are there to lose. You've not faced anyone of any, of any worth, of any level. So there's nothing there for me to look at and go, oh, yeah, okay, actually, maybe he has done that. Maybe he has shown this. Maybe he has shown that. I don't, there's nothing I've seen in any fights that's made me consider that at all. So it's all smoke and mirrors for me. Is it all smoke and mirrors, David? I'll see on fat on Saturday night. You know, um... All the opponents he's been living with, I'd do the same job on him as well. You know, um, if I thought the same people he thought would have the same record. So, you know, like I said, Saturday night, it's two days away. The talking's done now. We'll see how tough he is. 
We've, uh, you, you two have spent a bit of time around each other now. Uh, there's been face-offs, various things have happened. What, what do you make of Fabio Wardley at the moment, David Adlai? What, what do you, you think when you have a look at him? Nothing. You know, um, just not the same as me. You know, uh, I see his mannerisms, even how he carries himself. And, yeah, we just ain't the same, you know. Um, but I don't really take it all in, like I said. What matters is what happens on fight night, you know. Um, what he does other than that don't really bother me. Well, Fabio Wardley has said that he will take you uh, into deep waters and we're going to find out what you're like in deep waters. What are you like there, Dave? Well, thank God I can swim. We'll see, you know, um, what's going to happen when I take him to deep waters. You know, um, I know he's never faced a banger like me. I don't think I know. So, like I said, Saturday night, we'll see. Fabio, David Adelaide is unbeaten in 12 fights. Why are you the first man to beat him? <laughs> oh, well, I'd say I'm the first man to beat him, but I think there was someone else on his record who pretty much beat him, but he, um, he did well to get a home decision there. So maybe I'm the first on record, but I think it's, it's been seen by quite, quite a wide audience of the boxing community that he's, there's flaws there that have been exploited. And when it gets hot, like he says, he thinks he knows how to swim, but when he was drowning before, he didn't know what to do. David, when you were drowning before, you didn't know what to do, apparently. He gets drowned in sparring. I hear many stories of him drowning. He doesn't hear no stories about me. You can see in that fight, I wasn't getting taken into deep waters. So, I mean, if that's what he calls deep waters, then Saturday night is going to be a walk in the park. How do you look at this fight, Fabio? It feels like in the build-up, you've been fairly dismissive of David Adelaide. I don't think you agree it's the toughest fight of your career. You've talked about other fights. How do you look at him? Don't get me wrong, look, he's got some natural abilities. He's hungry, ambitious. He's riding high because he hasn't, he hasn't lost officially on his record as of yet. So there's some things there, of course, to consider. But I've, I've said previously, I've said before, I don't think he's my hardest opponent today. I don't think he's the most technical opponent I've been with. I don't think he's got the most power that I've been in the ring with. I think I've ticked off other boxers with better opponents before him. That's my opinion. That's how I feel. I think their records, the things my other opponents have done before him, go to show that as well. So it's not like I'm just making up random facts here. It's, the proof is in the pudding. It's on the paper. You can see it. David, you've actually fancied this fight for a couple of years. I remember you saying, actually, at the, at the launch presser, you, you'd have beaten him a couple of years ago. What yeah. is it about Wardley you've had your eye on? No, I didn't fancy it a couple of years ago because I wasn't really watching him. I wasn't watching him last year. I didn't really want the belt. And I thought, OK, then, I'm going to have to fight him. Um, but yeah, there's nothing towards him, personally. Uh, I just hear how he talks, and I mean, he talks like he's a seasoned pro. The man's had 16 fights, I don't really understand, so... I don't take him in. He's, uh, yeah, I don't take him in. He's described you as soft. I'm harder than he is, and everyone in his team, though. <laughs> myself. Me, myself, is harder than everyone in his team. The facts. We've seen that. What are you sitting back for? Ask a question. <laughs> I'm letting you have a look at David <laughs> Adelaide. Listen, you, you said something at the start of this. It's, you said it's going to be up to David Adelaide how this fight goes. So uh, what do you think is going to happen in there? You sin with me. If, if someone wants to fire it out with me and fight fire with fire, I'm more than happy to stand in the ring and do that. That's if what he wants to do. back off and run and circle around the ring, then maybe I'll have to chase him down for a bit. That's all he can do. You that's know, all I can do. He doesn't have no boxing ability. He can only fight one way, and that's walking forward. That's it. You know, Wally's the sort of fella where he's got no boxing IQ. I can back up and I know Wally will follow me. He's not intelligent enough to see that I'm setting traps. You know, um, and on Saturday night he'll see that. He's got no boxing IQ. The man can only fight one way. And uh, you see that in all his fights. He's only got one, one style of fighting. You step back, he's going to walk forward. He's not an intelligent man. You can see it. He's got a big head, but it's empty in there. Uh. It's quite a claim, Fabio. It says you've got a big head, but it's empty in there. Thoughts? Hey, man, I'm not even going to lie to you. Look, I've got a large head. I can absorb a lot of punches. I can take some damage, and I've proven that time and time again. Look, look, it's, again, with, with him, like, he goes on about he's done this and he's done that, and he's proven he's not, he's not been in there with anyone. It's big, it's big talk from someone that's not fought anyone. It doesn't make any sense. I can do this, I'm this, I'm built different. You're not built like anything. You're built soft. You're like a marshmallow. Wait, say that? What? I'm like a marshmallow. You're the one with all the scars in your face. Huh? Soft. I'll be careful the way you speak. You're soft. Be careful. You're soft. 
be careful. You're the one with the scars on the face, Fabio. You're soft. Don't show off because there's a few cameras. You're be soft. careful. See, now this is the thing. Obviously, I keep it respectful, but when there's no cameras here, Wooly doesn't even look at me. He looks down. He doesn't want to look at me. You know, we was in his excellency's house the other day. Wooly was eating like he's never eaten before. No manners, I had food on his mouth. I see him drinking his juice. I said, there's no way a fella like this could ever beat me. Yeah. He doesn't even know how to conduct himself properly. Now, when he, now that there's cameras, he acts like a different man. I'm just the same. It's the same old me everywhere I go. See, I'll be watching you, Wardley. I'll watch you. Yeah, you pay too much attention to me. You're too worried a about me. A lot of me. attention. I think that shows that I don't care for you. Everywhere we go, you're looking for me. If I, you're looking at what I'm doing, who I'm with, where I I'm I just at. watch how you eat Why are you stuff? so worried about I don't, me? I don't like Worry it. about yourself. So it's, it's a big event. I've got a punch in your mouth. It's a big just time. Of everyone's, everyone's put on a big time here. Enjoy it. Soak it up. Stop no, looking I'm at cool me. Look around. Just you, I don't really Enjoy the moment. I'm I brought I brought you all the way out here. You got to part in this big show because you're oh fighting my me. God. It's my promotion. You're welcome. You me you're welcome. Come come have a look. Yeah, just right. chill out. Don't worry about me so much. Stop you looking doubt at me. Do you doubt yourself? Have a look around. Do you doubt yourself? Huh? Do you doubt yourself? Not at all. So why'd you ask for a rematch clause up until a couple of days ago? Even this week. I think you know why. Why are you asking for a rematch? I think you know why. And after it's a British you'll title. Find out why. I don't need it, but I think you know why. It's a British title, and you're asking for rematch clauses. It doesn't make no sense. Hey, it's smart. I don't, you've never been you've never I don't been want a rematch clause. Before. You wouldn't know. I don't want a rematch clause. I'm ready to have a tussle on Saturday. We'll see. We will we'll see. You're a one dimensional fighter, like I said. You don't know how to fight one way. That's you getting excited in your right hand, throwing bombs. That's all you know how to do. We'll see. You can't we'll do see. nothing else. So we got a fight. That's no doubt on my end. Good. Oh, That's done. what we were all here for a big fight. This is your opportunity for the both of you to shine. And whoever comes through it, they're going to get in the big time. So you've got to really, really give it all, boys. That's what it's all about. Sounds good. We good? Final one. Prediction, David Adelaide. I'm going home with four belts, 13 and 0. <sighs> I don't even know how I'm going to celebrate, but Woody's getting knocked out. Fabio? Fabio Woodley win. Big KO. And yeah, it's shipping them belts home back to Ipswich. All right, we're going to get a face off down the front here. Stick with us. It's going down, because I'm around. 56, you know how I get down, down. What up? What up, cuz? What up? What up, gang? Still what up? What up, cuz? What up? What up, gangsta? They say I walk around like I got an S on my chest. Now that's in the vest on my chest. I try not to say nothing. The DA might want playing court, but I want to duck down like it's a sport. Put on me, I what's your book? Do you get money? I can't get nothing with you. Yeah, I'm not the type to get out for DWI. I'm the type that get connect when the gangsters they bump my shit. Them they know me. I grew up a ransom. It's not my homies, honey G's, I stash it. What? These come, we dump the d from battery acid. This flow's been mastered, the ice I flash it. Tooks me, I had your mama picking out. Bastard, I'm on the next level. Right link, forget bezel, bends pedal to the metal. Hotter than the two guys. What, what up, cuz? What, what up? What, what up, gangsta? What up? What, what up, cuz? What, what up? What, what up, gangsta? We don't play that. We don't play that. We don't play that. We don't play that. I sit back. Burn and wonder when gangsters bump my. Can they hear my hunger? When the duck quit, it sound like thunder. In December, I make it block, feel like summer. The rap critics say I can rhyme. The fiends say my. Hey, check up. What is a dime? I'm like Patty LaBelle, homie. I'm on my own. Where I lay my hat's my own. I'm a rolling stone. Cross my path, I cross it. Thinking I won't touch it. I had you in a wheelchair. Came no clutches. We're days away from kicking off Riyadh season. Francis, he's called the predator. I can fight. Fight to the end. That's what he does in fights. He brutally separates people from their consciousness. Tyson Shuri, because I have some boss, because I dare. His power is, it almost knocks your spirit out of your body. 
Always believe, man. Never give up. He'll figure out a way to land that power. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It doesn't matter what happened, I will not back down. This will be the biggest upset in all of sports history. Let's go take that victory. The battle of the baddest. Surprise, surprise! I'm predicting a lot of pain, and then Garnu's in for a world of trouble.
got them open. Line around the corner, line them up the block and over. Sometimes I even stop the smoking when it's time to focus. My shade, Dior, my pants, below. Create, explore, expand, concord. I came, I saw, I came, I saw. I praise the Lord, then break the law. I take what's mine, then take some more. It rains, it pours, it rains, it pours. I came, I saw, I came, I saw. I praise the Lord, then break the law. I take what's mine, then take some more. It rains, it pours, it rains, it pours. Yeah, I sold the pack, the loose, the hard. Yeah, I listen to X, I beat the bars. Yeah, the snakes, the rats, the cats, the dogs, the games, a trap. Protect your heart. Yeah, I waited in line. Return, refine the new design. It's time to shine, to shine, to shine, to shine, to shine. I hustle, I flex. The world is mine. So please believe. Allow the grease. These, these disease don't speak. We squeeze. I make the devil go weak. The knees you hate, you lame. You lost. I came. I saw. I came. I saw. I praise the Lord. Then break. Take what's mine, then take some more. It rains, it pours, it rains, it pours. I came, I saw, I came, I saw. I praise the Lord, then break the law. I take what's mine, then take some more. It rains, it pours, it rains, it pours. She I came, now what's my name? My chain, my pants, my pants with the chain. They know it's me, the hat and the shades. They heard my voice and they ran to the stage. My veins, my brains, my mans, my babe, my girls, my ex, my, that I left. To wait, I step out the car, that's a flex. Get thanks, get fresh, raise the love and finesse. Less. I came, I saw, I came, I saw, I praise the Lord and break the law. I take what's mine and take some more. It rains, it pours, it rains, it pours. I came, I saw, I came, I saw, I praise the Lord and break the law. I take what's mine and take some more. It rains, it pours, it rains, it pours. Don't let me down. 
Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the president of the World Boxing Council, Mr. Mauricio Suleiman. And now let's welcome International Boxing Hall of Fame promoters, Mr. Bob Arum and Mr. Frank Warren. Ladies and gentlemen, our main event this Saturday night is scheduled for 10 rounds. It is a WBC special event in the heavyweight division. Let's first welcome a native of Cameroon, now fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. He brings a professional MMA record of 17 wins, three defeats, with 12 of his 17 wins coming by way of knockout. He is the lineal mixed martial arts heavyweight world champion, Francis the Predator in Ganu. Take a walk with the full moon. Roll button and zipped up. It's all kicking off soon. Best stay with a crip, bruv. I don't know about your goons. Round there, everything lift up. Whether it's draw, win or lose, none of my friend them give up. Let's do it. Ain't come here to talk it out. Let's get into it. And he is joined by trainer Dewey Cooper. And also heavyweight legend Mike Tyson. Daddy, daddy, we came to start it. Bring the paper for the special wrap them up like Oregon, yo. Daddy, daddy. We came to start it. It's pepper if they ever want a problem in this party, yo. 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 Headshot in the middle of the battlefield. Don't mind going out like that. But guess what, man's out here gunning. Black bandana got no white flags. But I'm devilish, I walk with a trident. Criminals move in silence. Champion team full of migrants. Make it rain fly like pilots. Big boy, he say I don't run mine. In the every time I'm front line. Yeah, I ain't going outside not one time. Boy, better not cross that gun line. Head up, it's on, no high five. Straight to it, no talk, that's my kind. You handle that belt, let him drive. When it come to this stuff, I'm top five. Daddy, daddy, we came to start it. Bring the paper front, the special wrap them up like Oregon, yo. And now daddy, let's welcome fighting out of Morecambe, England. He brings an undefeated record with 33 wins. One draw, 24 of his 33 wins come by way of knockout. He is the lineal boxing heavyweight world champion and the reigning WBC heavyweight champion of the world known as the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. And singing, and singing, and moving to the groove and, and just okay. went. And he is joined by his trainer, Sugar Hill Stewart. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome His Excellency, Chairman of the General Entertainment Authority of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Turkey, Allah Sheikh. And ladies and gentlemen, before this evening's press conference commences, everyone will be available for photographs. Take a walk with the full moon. Roll button and zipped up. It's all kicking off soon. Best stay with a crip, bruv. I don't know about your goons. Round there, everything lift up. Whether it's draw, win or lose, none of my friend them give up. Let's do it. Ain't come here to talk it out. Let's get into it. 
Froze up now, he froze to death, he shit of blood. Told you you can't f*** with us, he shit of blood. Yeah, we gon' do the most, yeah. Foot all on they throat, yeah. Oh, you wanted to ghost the bitch. Made it out alive, I'm just. Leave one other guy, no. We was taught to die together. Get put down well. We gon' ride for help. Dottie, Dottie. We came to start it, bring the paper for the pressure, wrap them up like origami, yo. Lie, daddy, we came to start it. It's pepper if they ever want a problem in this party, yo. Yo. is talking about. We have seen 20 foot tall statues. We have lit up Times Square, Piccadilly, the Las Vegas Sphere, Cairo, the back of every bus in London, the side of every taxi. We have had music videos. We have had promos which look like films. The world is talking about this event. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest show on earth. On Saturday night, Two kings collide right here in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia to begin this year's iconic Riyadh season. The lineal and WBC world heavyweight champion Tyson Fury takes on the lineal MMA heavyweight champion Francis Ngannou. We cannot wait for this one. On behalf of Queensbury and Top Rank, we would like to say what an honor and privilege it is to be working on such an incredible fight as part of the opening of Riyadh season, and we want to express our heartfelt thanks to His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman. <laughs> and to His Excellency, Chairman of the General Entertainment Authority of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Turkey Al al -Shak. And of course, a thanks to all the teams at the GEA, Riyadh Season and Seller for this opportunity. This great event is being brought to you by Seller, Frank Warren on behalf of Queensbury Promotions, Bob Arams Top Rank Incorporated and Gimmick Fight Promotions. In the UK, this will be televised on TNT Sports Box Office, in the US and Canada via Top Rank on ESPN Plus and in other territories around the world on the zone. Let's just take a moment to discuss our wonderful hosts for this once in a lifetime event on Saturday night. There are two words to describe Riyadh season, and that's big time. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has become the go-to destination for big time concerts, big time events, big time attractions, and more recently, big time boxing. The iconic Riyadh season takes place every winter since 2019, 
welcoming more than 37 million visitors from every corner of the globe to experience the best in concerts, sporting events, dining experiences, and much more. This is the fourth Riyadh season, and it is boxing's privilege to be opening up this tremendous event. It's a special WBC event, and as you can see on the table there, there is a new belt, the Riyadh season championship belt, will be on the line on Saturday night. So, as you can see, we've got a very, very special top table here. So many people that you're gonna to wanna to hear from. Let's start with one of the men that has brought this event together, Hall of Fame boxing promoter, Frank Warren. Uh, Frank, I'll bring, I'll bring you in here. I mean, when this event was first talked about, when the first stuff started, you said this is, we haven't even got started yet. This is gonna be really big. This is big time, isn't it? Certainly is. It's one of the uh, well, it's one of the most amazing events I've ever been involved with, but with amazing, an amazing heavyweight champion, lineal heavyweight champion, Tyson Fury. And wh wherever he goes, everything is big. Everything breaks breaks records everywhere. And obviously, we've got the lineal champion in Francis, who's uh, well, he's undefeated as UFC heavyweight champion. So we've got a fabulous fight in a fabulous setting. And it's, it's just going to be something special on the night. The show, the whole event on Saturday night is going to be mind-blowing. There's no doubt about that. It's, it's going to be something very, very special. And a big, big shout-out to Spencer as well for what he's done. Spencer Brown played a pivotal role in this. Uh, Frank, tell me about that Riyadh season belt in front of you as well. This could be something we're getting used to. Well, it, you know, this looked like, well, it will be, I hope, uh, an annual event. And uh, this is a, a one-off belt for this, for the Riyadh season. It's the Riyadh season belt. And uh, Tyson's got a, how many belts you got? Every belt as I think has ever been. His, his trousers were I've never definitely got out. a lot, Frank, yeah. <laughs> and there's a, there is another one for the collection to, that he's obviously aiming for. This is, this is a, and this is the start of something really, really big here. And the catalyst, as I say, is Tyson. He's been the catalyst to make this happen as the athlete. And His Excellency Turkey uh, has been phenomenal. What he's done, what he, his team's got behind this and made this into something extra, extra special. And it's a promotion. Bob and I have been talking about it since we've been here. It's something we, both of us have never seen before. It's phenomenal. Let's bring in somebody from the, uh, the Francis Ngannou side. I'm going to bring in trainer Dewey Cooper here. Uh, Dewey, how do you prepare Francis Ngannou to fight Tyson Fury? Nobody's beat him yet. How do you prepare for this guy? First of all, summer lake of everyone here. Um, we're happy to be here. Um, Francis has been training extremely hard for the last three and a half months. We brought in tons of different guys for him to spar with, get comfortable with the height and the and the reach of Tyson Fury, also the movement and the speed. He's a champion. He came from Cameroon. He been through so many difficulties in his entire life, and this is no different. He will persevere. He will be victorious in two days. Thank you guys very much. All right, thank you, Dewey. Let's bring in another Hall of Fame boxing promoter. Bob Arum is, of course, here. Bob, I mean, you have been involved in some of the biggest fights of all time. Thriller in Manila, Brawl in Montreal. This is something a little bit different. This is something a little bit special. Talk to us about this fight. I was just telling Francis, what we're seeing now is historic. People, when long after many of us will be gone, will be talking about this event. This is something that nobody has seen before. When the fa fight was announced or talked about, there was not even a, an arena to hold the fight. And in 90 days, an arena was built to seat 22,000 people. Now, where in the world could that ever happen? I, I don't know about the UK, but I know in the US it would take two and a half to three years to build a comparable structure. And this event is really unique because 
it brings together the best MMA heavyweight ever against the best heavyweight boxer, certainly since Muhammad Ali and maybe ever. So what we're going to see on Saturday is something very unique, very exciting, and I think we're all privileged to be here. And as Frank said, I want to thank the kingdom. I want to thank our host. What a host. Turkey El Sheikh, who made this all possible. We'll see you all on Saturday because you're in for thrills and excitement all evening. Just one more, Bob. You are sat next to a, a specimen of a man there in Francis and Garnu. Tyson Fury is over here. Are you a little bit nervous about this fight? You're very much in the Tyson business. Sat next to him there, are you nervous? I never get nervous because I got nothing to do with the outcome of the fight. That's up to Francis. It's up to my friend Tyson. They're the ones that fight. I sit on my ass and watch the fight and I got nothing to say and nothing to get nervous about because I have nothing to do while the two are fighting. Well, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Okay, no nerves from Bob Arum, as we'd expect. Uh, Sugar Hill, let's bring you in here. Quite the task. It's something a little bit different. You've got Francis and Garnu on the other side. How do you prepare for a man like that? Um, you know what? To be honest, it's probably one of the toughest training camps because we don't know what to expect. Um, you know, he's coming from UFC, but he's been fighting his whole life just as well. And uh, it's just one of those things like entering an amateur tournament where you don't know who you're going to fight next, what style. And uh, it's pretty much impossible to train for that kind of a fight. You just have to train to be your best and to just be sharp as you can be. And uh, that's what we prepare it for, just to be sharp and expect everything. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just one of those tough fights where you have to train and... Uh, almost just see things that you would never expect to see, along with seeing the things that you're normally used to seeing. So, yeah, he's got a lot of experience and a lot of tricks, or else he wouldn't be the great champion that he's been. And, uh, yeah, Saturday, we just expect a great fight. These two big, bad fighters battling it out in Saudi Arabia. And uh, I think it's going to be a spectacular event. The promotions here have been fantastic from all my years in boxing. And uh, just seeing this is just, it's, uh, it hasn't really gotten to me being here from this event. I won't know it until it's all over and done and maybe sitting and uh, having me a little something to drink and watching the replays and watching how the promotions and productions is all set up. But from what I'm seeing now, everything is just fantastic. Never been involved in anything like this before in my life. And uh, yeah, for me, if Emmanuel was here, this is where he'd be at right now. Thank you so much, Sugar Hill. Now, we are in a very unique position. We have the father of Tyson Fury here, John Fury, and we have the man at the other end of the table who he named him after. Uh, John, let me just get your thoughts on this fight, this event, and what you're seeing here today. Mike Tyson's there, and there's Tyson Fury. What can you say? Great things happen in great places. Saudi Arabia. You got the king of the 80s at the end there. You got my son, the king of the present. What can you say? So many great people under one roof coming together for a special day on Saturday. A day what no man could ever, ever better look around you. The promotion, the best in the world. Other people need to take note throughout the world, you know. And even me, I'm honored. I'm proud to be alive, first of all, and to be in this great place of Saudi and sat in the company of these great people. The Mike Tyson on the end made me son after, me son Tyson. But you know what? Give me a special mention. The man who bred him, John Fury. <laughs> Fears no man. Fears no man on earth. 
No matter what they've done, no matter what the accolades, John Fury only fears one person. And he's not even of this world. That's God Almighty. Here I am! <laughs> Any man alive wants to fight John Fury, I'm here ready to go. Mike Tyson, what have you got to say to that, my brother? Hey, brother, I'm just looking forward to, for this fight to start. And when first when this came to me, I said, there's no way this is going to happen. And then I watched him spar. And listen, Spence was there too. He hit this guy. I don't know what spar, but some white guy. He hit him. But not only did he hit him, he broke his leg when he went down. And I said, man, there's a possibility something good could happen here. Let me but tell you, my brother, the, the world is going to see what's going to happen to your man. Your man will get his head boxed off and stopped at will, my pal. Don't you worry about that. And if I'm wrong, me and you will fight straight after. Yeah! Yeah, man! <laughs> yeah, me and the great man! Whatever the outcome, me and you will fight. All oh, day, baby. Get on there, my brother. <laughs> In the new heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury! <laughs> the man of all men! A man what can't be equal. Francis my son! I'm not saying My right son! There, Nganu. I said it right that time, didn't I? Nganu couldn't beat me, Mike. Nganu can't beat me, pal. And I'm useless. Hey, what are you but saying? I tell you what, what I've got a world Maybe class not you, but your son. I'm bottle to burn. Bottle to burn. What did you say? I'm ready to go I right said, now, my brother. I can beat him. I said maybe not him, but his son. You see you, my <laughs> mate. Take the glasses off so I can see the fear in your eyes. Take your glasses off so I can see the fear in your eyes. Tell him, Tyson. Put it on him. No, I'm, I'm afraid of you. I'm scared Put of you. Him. But your son, I'll take you now. Well, the apology <laughs> can be accepted and your man have to apologise, so I'll take that as a good one. Good luck, because you're going to need it, my brother. We all need it. That's right. See you tomorrow. <laughs> well. <laughs> Let's just get a round of applause for that. That little exchange. Tremendous. Let's get this party started. Let's get Saudi Arabia rocking. <laughs> let's, uh, let's bring in Mike Tyson. Um, obviously, there's a... A, a possible fight with John Fury one day, but let, let's talk about this fight going on on Saturday night. Francis Ngannou is a man that you are guiding, you are coaching to dethrone Tyson Fury. Tell us your thoughts heading into this fight. Hey, listen, I thought this was ridiculous too until I saw him spar. You know, I watched him box around, he moved, but when I saw him hit this guy, this guy's 6'9", uh, 6'8", six, six, big, strong. When he hit the guy, the guy... I, I never saw nothing like that before. Spence said he saw it before. I never saw it. He hit the guy the chin and broke the, the ankle, the leg. Hey, <laughs> listen, man. If he could do that, man, it's possible he could be heavyweight champ of the world. <laughs> I, I'm not, it's been a long time since I've seen a knockout. It really wasn't a knockout. It was just a leg break or something. So the power is real. Oh, it, it's, it's definitely real. It's definitely real. How does it feel to be training to, to knock out a guy that you were named after? You know, so, that's it. Or he was named after you. Yeah. I always say, if I, could, if I could be involved with a fighter that could beat the greatest fighter in the history of life, hey, I want to be a part of that team. Brilliant. Fantastic, Mike Toss. <laughs> Let's bring in the Predator. The man with it all to do, the man who once again is being written off on Saturday night like you have been your whole career, your whole life. Talk shit, Francis, now. <laughs> tell us, tell us about this fight, Francis and Garnu. Tell, tell us what it means. Oh, man. Where would I start? You'll be the death. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's the end. Dream on, I'm mate. finishing Dream like on. Beating his ass. <laughs> Dream on, but, Dream on. I think, um, <laughs> whatever pills he's this is a manifestation, you. <laughs> you know, this is a dream come true. And I remember four years ago, the first time that I met Mike Tyson right here, my, my only request was like, whenever I fight Tyson Fury, would you be in my corner? And uh, people thought I was losing it. I was crazy. It would never happen. That but was a million years ago today. too. Yes, that was four years ago, July 2019. Here we are, that fight is happening. And then, um, so, I'm very excited. Manifestation! I'm, I'm living a dream, you know. He has always been my dream. And never easy. But we get it here, and I want to thank everybody here. Everybody that here that helped to make that fight happen. Um, Bob, um, Warren, and also uh, thank you a lot for to... Um, 
Your Excellency, Mr. Turkey, um, Alasher, will make this fight happen. Riyadh season. Uh, I mean, it might be a little weird, but I really also want to thank Tyson Fury for taking the fight, for taking the risk, because, because there is a lot of risk here for him too. He might go to sleep on Saturday night. So I appreciate his courage, and I thank him a lot for the opportunity as well. So thank you, guys. Class guy, baby. Class guy. <laughs> All right, let's get an opening statement from Tyson Fury. Tyson, you've been involved in some historic moments in boxing, the Wilder Trilogy, 94,000 at Wembley Stadium. Where does this rank? It's absolutely unbelievable to be out here in the great kingdom of Saudi Arabia and to be top of the bill. The main event is even more special. So big shout out to the kingdom of Saudi Arabia and Turkey Al Sheikh and everybody else who's involved, Frank Warren and Bob Aram and, and Mike Tyson and, and everybody, everybody who's here, Francis, Every, all the press, all the media, without all you guys, this wouldn't be a major event. So big shout out to all of you for turning up. Big shout out to my man over there, the snowman, Spencer Brown, a.k.a. Spencer Brown. Um, you know, we've all got a lot to be thankful for and we've all come a long, long way to be here. And this has happened in such a short space of time, Frank. Um, and to see it all unfold and to see, to be privy to some of the phone calls and some of the, the, the stuff like the organising and stuff, it, to see it all, all in real life is amazing. So first and foremost, I just want to say thank you. I'm so happy to be here, to be put on a show. And, and secondly, I've got big Francis Ngannou to fight. Um, he's, a, he's a big man. He's a big man. And um, I see he's took a bit of advice from me with the clothes he's wearing. He's looking a bit snazzy. <laughs> Um, they say the, the finest form of flattery is imitation. And he's got his suit on with no shirt on, and I started that. So he's imitating. And there's one thing I will say is many will imitate, but not one will ever replicate. Because yes! there's only one Gypsy King. Yes! True words, never spoken. <laughs> Francis, are you trying to imitate Tyson Fury? No, I'm trying to replicate Tyson Fury. <laughs> good answer. Good. <laughs> He's trying to replicate him. Uh, very good answer. Francis, listen, at the, at the launch press conference all those weeks ago, I asked you about the delivery system. It's all well and good having a big punch that can switch off lights, but is the delivery system in place? Is it ready now? The delivery system is very in place. It's ready. He has improved long way from when we were in, um, in the press conference in London. And Tyson, how do you prepare for a guy like this? Um, how do I prepare for a guy like this? It's pretty difficult, but in America we say a statement like this, I'm gonna knock a motherfucker out. <laughs> and that's how we do it. That's how we do it. And I've been working with Sugar Hill to knock him out cold on Saturday night, and I've no doubt in my mind that I will knock him out. Um, he's a big, strong guy. Obviously, he's got a good punch, powerful. So am I. I'm a big, strong guy, obviously powerful, or else I won't be world heavyweight champion. But I believe there's levels to the game, and he's going to find out my level on Saturday night. Let's bring in Francis Ngannou, and again, Mike Tyson here, and Dewey Cooper. Uh, you can all talk about this. What has this camp been like? What has the relationship been like? And Francis, what's the advice been like that you've got from these wise heads around you? Let's talk about it. Well, uh, this camp been, um, honestly, this camp, this camp been different from my past camps. You know, um, it's a different experience. It's a different beast. And... Um, I was aware that there was a uh, mountain in front of me, so that's why we started the camp very earlier. And um, it's been going good. But, you know, uh, having uh, somebody like Mike Tyson around, even my coach here, the Wee Cooper, that was very helpful um, in terms of like approaching this fight. You know, uh, when you have something like this, when you have to take a tree down, you find a better hatches for it, you know. Some tree need more, biggest hatches, and uh, that's why we um, we get Mike Tyson in, and the, the first thing that Mike Tyson said to me that's stick in my mind is like, listen, he has two hands and two feet like you, and I'm like, okay, that's not it, I get that, you know. 
And um, I think that's enough for Saturday night. Tyson is definitely the best uh, in boxing, but that's, that's stopping on Saturday night. Well, let me bring in Mike here. Mike, yeah. in the build-up to this, Tyson Fury has said that he's actually going to stand and trade with Francis Ngannou. He's, he doesn't plan on boxing and moving. He wants to have it out with him. Is that, is that a good idea? Hey, listen, no one takes a better punch than Tyson Fury, but this is a different kind of punch. I don't think anyone's experienced a punch like this but the fellas in the UFC. So this is going to be a very um, perplexed moment for champ. Are you ready for a different kind of punch, Tyson? I'm ready. I'm ready to rock and roll. Bring it on. I'm being really honest with you guys. Like, I've trained for a 12-round war, and if it's anything less, then it's going to be an early night. Mm. And I've been hit by the biggest punches that's ever graced the face of the earth. And I'm still undefeated, I'm still standing, I'm still number one. So we're going to see what Francis has got inside of him. We're going to see if he's got the guts to stand and trade with a heavyweight champion of the world. We're going to see if he's got the belief in his power. Um, and I'm not convinced. I wasn't convinced with Deontay Wilder's power until he knocked me down with it about 14 times. And now I'm convinced. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see on Saturday night. I've heard all this talk before about power and all that sort of stuff. So um, I'm looking forward to a challenge. And if it's not a challenge, I'll be disappointed. Put it that way. Francis, let me ask you this. Normally, say he fights Deontay Wilder, he weighs a lot more than Deontay Wilder. He can, you know, grapple with him, push him down. Could he do that with you? No, absolutely not. And I think, and I hope for him not to have that plan because it's going to go very bad for him. I get some wrestling, some wrestling trick for him. Thoughts, Tyson? And I, and I, and I get some weight. I get some legs to take his weight, and I know how to man to deal with that. The clean. You're like a Christmas <laughs> cracker, on. mate. You get pulled and there's nothing inside here. What did he say? Empty. Christmas crackers are empty. You can never touch Francis. Um, you should, you show him. Big empty. <laughs> <laughs> to confirm there, Francis, you've been described as a, a big empty Christmas cracker. You pull it and there's nothing inside. That's what John Fury is saying here. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'll eat a with a donkey Sunday morning. I think we, we, we what, uh, 48 hour away? You're going to find out. Good. You're going to find out, brother. We had it all before, mate. 34 times before, what they're going to do and they're not going to do. You're no different. I can't In the new well heavyweight champion in the world. I fear <laughs> your Francis, be a fight. Be a fight. How come a man of your, your credentials talk yeah. like that? Come can't, on, boy. Yeah. I can hear you very well. Man. The new yeah, champion of mother care. Mom. That's all yes. he'll be. Good God almighty, man. Don't embarrass yourself, Mike, honestly. You can't beat my son, just be a man and say, you know what, we've come here to try our hardest, but we're messing with the best in the I take care of you. I, I take care of your son, and Mike Tyson will take care of you. you How make, about that? Mike, no, let me tell you, mate. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here, pal. He's been chasing There's nobody me for 40 years. Here, son. He's been chasing me for my 40 years. My mother never bred a coward, <laughs> and I'm not a coward. I'll fight now with any man in the world. That's right. My mother don't breed cowards, and I'm telling you somewhat now, for the best heavyweight in the planet, I must be somewhat. And don't underestimate this, John this, Fury, because I'll hey man, die all throwing that my talk hands. It's a fight going draw. down in two days. All that talk well, is who useless is that now. now. We shall see. Who are you, by the way? We shall see. Who are you? Tell them who you are. Who's this man? Hey, you know who the fuck who I am. Who is he? I'm the Cartoon black hole. character. You know who I am. Hey, At I the end of the day, are, we're not here trying to talk. Two days in the world to see. Uh, In two days, Mr. The world Nobody, I'm a cupboard. I'm sick of Where this guy. Francis, 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 <laughs> Let's get it on. <laughs> Two six cylinder. Raise your rock. In the new heavyweight champ hey. of the world, Francis. <laughs>
Nugano. Yeah. <laughs> That's the biggest joke you'll ever hear in this great right, kingdom right. of Saudi. Hey. It's the greatest joke on earth. We're not even, we're not even gonna laugh at that one, Mike. Pull it up out of one, pal. Come on, man, laugh. Shit. Yeah. No. <laughs> Wanna relax? Right. Wanna relax? All right, all right, You've gentlemen. done too much relaxing, pal. Come on, let's, uh, let's just get a final word down the table. Just a couple of words each from everyone. In the new heavyweight champ and of the world. No. And still. <laughs> Okay. Right, I, I think we've had the, you, uh, we've had the final words from Mike Tyson. All day, every day. I'm ready, babe. I'm we've had the final it. words, I think, <laughs> from John Fury. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Let's just, uh, let's just <laughs> get a final word. I'm not word. saying I can beat this great man. I'm not saying I can beat you, Mike, but I'll fight you and do the best I can, pal. Because that's what my mother bred, a fighting man. All yeah, day, every day, that. coach. And you've got to respect these. Because I got bags of them. Fantastic stuff. John Fury, Mike Tyson, thank you so much. I think we know that that's probably going to be a fight one day. I just want to get Francis and Garner, like give me your yet. final word. Francis, you are fighting on Saturday night. Your chance to become the, the world's champion of boxing. Of the world. Give us your final word. And still, champion of the world. In the new, ten years later. Champion of the world. Right, let's... Nugano. Yeah. I'll never shut the <laughs> up. <laughs> They'll never close ah, my mouth. Think, There's not a man I think born from his mother to well. make John Fury shut right. his mouth. Okay, Francis. And Tyson, final word to you. What's happening on Saturday? I'm going to knock that big stiff spark out. Go on, my son. And there's nothing he can do about it. Go on, my son. No matter who he trains with, no matter what he brings on the night, I'm Go knocking on. you spark out on Go Saturday on. night. Game over. Like, Out cold. I reverse no the table problem. to you. Out cold. I think you say Out cold. Stand up, friend. Out I cold. The table Stand up. You get knocked spark yes. out. I get Without a doubt. That right hand I guess you is going to detonate right, right in your face, right. you big ugly daughter. 26, 30. Put the mic on. Put the mic on. No I reverse the table to you on the sixth round. Okay? I'm ready and I'm knocking you out. I'm cold. ready. To, I'm ready too. Out cold. I'm more than ready. Boom. Game over. I'm more than ready. Game over. I know you have multiple You're wives. You're going to know what it's like. You You're going to know what it feels ready. like to get knocked spark out. You have multiple wives, but you have, you have, but you have lost some of them already. Multiple your first so don't knock you worry. Out. Francis. Okay? Francis. Yeah. So I'll see you on Saturday night. I know you can't punch. Zero power. Okay. Zero power. Then lift your chin on the way. I'll leave the chin. Leave your chin you on the way. You're going to find out if I can punch. You ain't good enough to it, you big Leave your chin on the way. It'll be there. You hit it. You hit it. Hey, champ, Mike. Yeah. Take the glasses off. Right. You big, you big sausage. Look at him. He's a big fat sausage. Hey, Tyson. Tyson. Look how fat he is. You want my son? You He's not even in shape. Glasses? He's not even in shape. He's fat, Mike. He's fat. He did 300. He's a fat sausage. Look at him. Look how fat he is. Yes, I'm fat. Sausage. Yes, I'm fat, but I can. You're a fat sausage. You used to knock people out when you were fat. So he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> he got you with that one. He got you with that that's one. That's true. That's true. I'll give him that. That is true. <laughs> All right. I think that's oh, a fantastic yeah. line to end on. Thank you so much. Crazy We're going to get a face shit. off down the front here. What a brilliant press conference. Security, stand by. Bada dun, bada dun, bada dun. Anyway, we see them, we are bang for another one. Boss of four or five, Nanko, one Remington. Any boy, this ballot on the Mina Kellington. Hey, no face man, you know, when vibes can done. Vibes can done, we kill a sound, boy, for fun. Big bad man from out of England. Be a drop a tell you. Oh, I 
badder than, badder than, badder than, bad from me bad. Where you get your mother from? Thing where me get? Could I come from Afghanistan? They no want to see this cross like me up in a me hand. Bad, 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 man, you know me vibes can't done. Lyrics in my fire like a bullet from a gun. Big bad man from outer England. When me lyrics start fire, watch a song fly With the rapper pam pam from a guy this day program shot a slam slam them said I'm a bad man me a fi hawk bitch one when we a fire shot pull pin and fling bomb them dead be a fi tramp pull them like king dogs pull up by your foot and none of them no sing song balaclava pan face matic in a hand we not have time for waste with the rapper pam pam shot a slam me bad 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 Badadan, badadan, badadan. Battle of the Baddest this Saturday night to begin this year's iconic 
Riyadh season. Live in the UK on TNT Sports Box Office, in the US and Canada via top rank on ESPN Plus pay-per-view and around the world on the zone. Thank you so much.